everyone, it's Emma Phyllis back with part two of Scary Claire. So let's get right back into the story. Chapter two, Distractions Fade. We had another merge class, but this time Lily wasn't in it. Peter was though. He waved and I tried to get a seat next to him, but they had been taken. I noticed something then. I had a crush on Peter. I got lucky this period. It was very distracting. We made the classic volcano, but with weird chemicals. We got to choose teams or groups. We got to choose teams or groups. I wound up with all sophomores. There was me, obviously, a girl named Nancy, a boy named Lucas, and Peter. Yes. But well, after it says Peter, there's like a heart made out of like an arrow and a three, and then she says yes. Ours exploded the biggest, but we had to clean it up. When I was cleaning, I got some on my hand, which is bad, because we use some weird stuff that makes your skin come off wherever it touches, so I was bleeding. The blood burn spelled have, dot, dot, dot. You could have. Distractions faded. Uno. Or, it, it, it's, it's just the number one. I went to third period, which was music. I sing, but no one knows. Well, no one but Claire. Hello, class. My name is Mrs. Maybell. Amelia, you... No! I just... No! No! Why did you do that? That's how it's supposed to be. No, no, not in mine. That looks wrong. You can't do that. They're at least it, at least um, you know, it's based, like, underneath one. No, there's no point in doing that. Because, uh, I got confused when I was reading it. Well, I don't care. It's my story. I want you to th all right. Hello, class. My name is Mrs. Maybell. I have big news. At the end of the month, we'll have a talent show. No auditions needed. You just need to sign up. I hope to see a lot of these bright faces up on that stage on September 25th, said a young woman with a red bob coat wearing an ice cream dress and brown glasses. Lily was in this class and sat next to me. Music took place behind the curtain on stage. The seats were put into huge semicircles. Into two huge semicircles. I'm going to dance. You, said Lily. By now, I was super distracted. I'm not signing up. It's a talent show. I have no talent, I said. Oh, come on. You must have something, she muttered over. She took two pieces of paper. What are you doing? I asked anxiously. One has a dot, one doesn't. If you pick the one with the dot, you sign up. If you pick the blank one, you don't. The universe. So I picked, and of course, just my luck, I got the one with the dot. Fine, the world is telling me to. I guess I'll sing. I said, we left and got lunch. I tried to find Peter and Lily in the big flop of people and found them at a table with Nancy and Lucas. So I knew everyone at the table. Hi guys, I yelled over. Hey Tessa, they all yelled back. I jogged over. Well, what smells so, so good in you, your lunch box, t t Tessa? Nancy stuttered. She had a stuttering issue. I, I don't know, I said. I opened it to my lunch gone and, ex and an exploded strawberry pie. This was weird because I'm extremely allergic to strawberries. Oh no, Lucas exclaimed. The, je that, the jelly stuff that exploded spelled saved, dot, dot, dot. You could have saved. I guess that means next it'll be me or it. But who knows? It could be anything. Your lunch, Lily exclaimed. It's ruined. This isn't my lunch. I'm ex I'm severely allergic to strawberries, I told them. Then w w why'd your m m mom give it to, to you, you? Asked Nancy. She didn't. She packed me sun butter and, belly s and jelly sandwich, I said. Peter stood up on the table and yelled this. Who is pranking my friend Tessa? Huh? Who is it? Peter! We all whisper yelled at him. Get your embarrassing screaming butt back in your seat, Lily lectured. Thank you, Peter, but you really are embarrassing. I, I muttered. We all left, and Nancy and Lily gave me some food. Distractions faded. Two. Chapter three is where we will leave off.
next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Actually, you know what? I think I am going to read another chapter. This is a short video. Chapter 3, Lessons. So, by now, I felt like my life, like I was going to die from stress and terror. I felt like my life was at risk. Next class was ELA, English Language Arts. I thought there was, I thought that was, wait, that there was no, bro, that there was no way something would happen in ELA. But of course, I was wrong. My teacher was Mrs. Leonard's. She was a beautiful young woman. She she was Hispanic and had long brown hair with blonde highlights. Take out your composition notebooks, she said. I opened mine to the first page. There was lots of blood spilling me, dot, 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 which was pretty weird and creepy. I didn't know who was doing it, but I, and I wanted to stop. But who could, who could possibly make sure my burn spelled could? How? Or who could find my house and pour blood all over my room and when I rub my eyes it disappears? Who could grab, get my book bag, steal my book, write and write in blood on it? Who could make sure that the chemicals on my skin got in that position? Also, the fact that it was saying you could have saved me was a bit strange. Save who? I didn't know anyone at school. So I made a conclusion. It was Claire. You guys are probably thinking that, that I'm crazy. Claire is dead and this is all a coincidence. But I knew it wasn't. I was sure. And next we have the big reveal. I went to Dismissal Hall and where basically kids go to wait for the bus. Peter took the bus. Kids also went there to leave. But oomph, I oomphed. Uh oh. I bumped into my boyfriend. He just didn't know it yet. Whoa there, princess, he said. He caught me in a dip catch. Eee! <laughs> oh, um, sorry, I was just leaving, but you probably already knew that. Um, I'm just gonna go, I said, embarrassed. I sped walk out and tripped my, and tripped and hit my chin on the ground. And hit my chin on the ground, and it was bleeding a lot, of course. There were words. But these words were a bit scarier. Dash, Claire, heart. And of course, the first thing that came to my mind to yell was, Peter! I yelled. He came running out. He saw the blood, hugged me, and I sobbed into him. He offered to walk me home. I said yes and told him the whole story. I then got a call from my mom. You would have thought I learned my lesson. Hey, Mom, what's up? I said. Oh, Tess, I have news. She sounded sorry. What? I said my pet fading they found claire's killer she said not crying at all because she really knew her what it was this psycho i screamed it was james the babysitter she said i knew it i gasped since the day it happened i thought it was him but mom i gotta go someone is walking me home oh okay i love you bye she said and we hung up um what was that about peter asked they found Claire's killer. It was James. I said, Seriously? I've got to tell Lily that on our next date. He said, Surprisingly, date? You two are dating? I said, A bit choked up. Yep, three months now, he said confidently. Um, you can go. I can get myself home now, I said. I said this because I knew I was about to cry. Okay. You got Lily in my number if you need us. Bye, he said and turned to leave. I waited until he was no longer on the block, and when he was gone, I put my hands in my face and cried. My face in my hands and cried. Oh my god, I said I put my hands in my face. <laughs> in my face. <laughs> I put my hands in my face. Oh my god, Emma, you're in cat's box. Ugh. My face in my face. My, this is supposed to be a really emotional scene, too. How dare you, me? I put my face in my hands and cried. But he must have heard me because he came running back. He put his hand on my shoulder, turned me around, and... Dot, dot, dot. 
kiss me! Smack on the lips! What I didn't notice until after the kiss is that we were right in front of Lily's house. No, we were right in front of Lily's house. Wait a minute, what the heck? Right in front of Lily's house. I found out from Peter. I hope she did not see you. So far, dead Claire hates me. My best friend's boyfriend, aka my crush, kissed me. And they found Claire's killer. Could my life, life be any less dramatic? Well, it could. Anyway, guys, I think that's where we're going to leave off for this chapter in Scary Claire. We're almost done with the book already because I'm still writing it. Um, next time we'll do chapter four, and then I need to get back to work with chapter five. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell to be notified every time I get, I think notified is the word, I've been saying notified for so long, to get a notification every time I make a video. And I love you all so much. Have a very, 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 very nice day.